you think you can't wear lipstick because it looks bad on your lips, please listen to me right now. I have done so many people's makeup where they're like, don't put lipstick on me, it looks bad on me. And I know exactly why they say that because I used to think the exact same thing. They think that when they put lipstick on, especially when they overline their lips, that they look like a clown. And now this is a very, very common thing that's called a double lip line. So a double lip line is when you have two different lip lines. And the reason for this is I believe because first of all, we have muscles in our lip and then we have the vermilion border, which is the pigmentation of your lips. So you have the muscle and you have the color. Now, the muscle is the 3D part of your lips. It sticks out. They're like the pillows of your lips. But the vermilion border is the color. It's literally the pigment, the pink part, the brown part, whatever color your lips are. Now, for a lot of people, especially people of color, we have lip lines that have different vermilion borders and different muscles. Like they're in different places. They don't line up perfectly. And this is super duper common. That gives the appearance of two different lip lines. So you have your color lip line and your muscle lip line. Celebrities have these, normal people have these, Rihanna and Gigi Hadid have these, so it's not really a big deal. It just means it makes putting on lipstick a little bit more difficult and a lot of people think they look like clowns with lipstick because they use only their outer lip line to line their lips. That's because they want bigger lips and they line their outer lip line all the way through. What this does is make especially the edges of the mouth, the corners, look really puffy and strange and clown-like. But you don't have to worry anymore because I'm going to show you how to line your lips so that it doesn't look like a clown and that you look cute. And actually, this is a really good thing. Double lip line lips make it really easy to line your lips to make them look more pouty than normal. Other people would have to like overline, underline, blah, 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 and like kind of wrap it out themselves. But if you have double lip line, you can do this really easily because you literally have the guides there for you. So mine's not the easiest to see, but when I move my lips like this, you can see it. So I have my vermilion border, the color right here. And then if I go like this, that's where my muscle is. So that's my first lip line right there. And this is my second. And if I were to line the second lip line, the outer one, all the way through, I would look like a clown. First thing you want to do is grab a concealer or foundation that is the exact same color as your face or like the skin around your mouth like this area because this is going to be concealing the outer lip line. I'm going to use a concealer that's a little bit lighter so you can see what I'm doing. I'm concealing my outer lip line right now and stopping as I get towards the middle so just the corner it's okay if you go a little bit too far with this because we can fix it with the liner you can already tell how much more pouty this side of my lips looks compared to this now some people have this double lip line on their outer corner on the top as well i kind of have it but it's not too much of a concern for me i'm just going to show you you can also go like this I actually learned a lot of this from Snitchery's Pouty Lips video and I kind of applied that to double lip lines like many many years ago and it wasn't about double lip lines but it did help me quite a bit so definitely credit to her as well. Now if you were to do the top it would be right here. So now we've kind of eliminated the outer lip line on the corners of the mouth. This is going to give us a lot of guidance for when we're drawing our lip line and also just make the whole new lip look very realistic. Obviously use a shade that matches you better than I have. Okay, I'm going to use a bright color. Hopefully it'll make it more clear what I'm trying to do. But now what we're going to do is use that inner lip line, which now is the only lip line there because we've covered the outer lip line, to line the corners of our mouth. So make sure your lips are rested when you do this. You don't want to stretch them. No smiles, nothing like that. Otherwise, once you bring them back from here to here, it's going to look wonky. And I'm going right above the concealer. I have gone a little bit over there. So I've just gone and lined the inner lip line. You want to do this on all four corners. 
and stop right before you get to the middle. You want to leave the middle bare for now. I also saw how Selena Gomez's makeup artist um, lines lips and she actually does it really similar, so... So now we're going to tackle the middle of the lips. Now for the middle, you want to use your outer lip line. I'm going to show you where my inner lip line is. My inner lip line would be right here, but my outer lip line is here. Now when I draw that on, it doesn't feel like I'm drawing on my lips. It feels like I'm drawing on my face. So keep in mind, because the muscle isn't there, you feel like it's part of your face, even though the pigment is there. But, you know, it's just kind of psychs you out a little bit, but it's completely normal. And now I'm going to try and round this out and connect it to the line I drew on the side. See how much bigger my lip looks on the bottom when I use my lower lip line, my outer lip line? The difference is big, so you want to utilize your lip correctly. And for this part, you can even overline if you want. Like, there's no limit. It's just a bit hard for me to overline because my lips stick out a little bit. So if I were to go here, it would just look ridiculous from the side. Now I'm just going to fill this bit in. And the fill-in doesn't have to be too neat. As long as the edges are crisp, you should be okay. And if not, you can con conceal the edges later as well. So now for the top lip, I don't have too much of a double lip line on my cupid's bow area, but if you do, you want to use your outer lip line. Um, I'm just going to do it as big as possible. You can also overline here as well, but because my lips are very 3D, again, for 3D lips, like people like Ariana Grande and Kendall Jenner, when they overline their lips, you can see where their lip actually starts. It's because they have 3D lips. Um, I can make a video on that if you guys want, but... It makes it hard to overline, so I don't really overline that much, so I'm just going to do how I normally do it. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this lip is naturally a bit more pouty the left side than the right side, and therefore it's more rounded because there's more volume. This one's a bit more flat, so it's a bit more straight, so I like to compensate. I like to draw this one a bit more straight and this one a bit more round, so it kind of evens out. When you're connecting the lines, be very careful not to um, end up overdrawing over here, like where we've concealed on the sides, because you're just going to end up with the clown-type lips again, so just be careful. Now from here, you can fill in your lips with whatever you want. You could go ahead with this. I'm just going to show you how to do it for maximum amount of pout so since i'm using a darker lip liner i can just go ahead and fill in the corners this is gonna because it's darker create a kind of lip contour effect and pinch the sides of the mouth and that helps it look more pouty because this is gonna go backwards in space because it's contouring so it's darker it looks like it's more pinched smaller and we're going to highlight this in a second so that it looks bigger and then that area is going to be poutier the middle part of your lips and this is going to be more pinched now i'm going to blend this in a little bit with my fingers be very careful blending it always messes up the lip line Try not to touch the outer part of the lip liner because your your fingers will probably mess it up. Now I have this um, P. Louise Lip Drip kind of gloss. And you can use a concealer, you can use any lighter lipstick and just put that in the bit that you want to look the very largest on your lips. And then pat it in. And then... Do a bit of that and then do the same thing repeated but use like less and less every time well, what this is going to do is every time you blend it it's going to diffuse and diffuse and diffuse and every time you add more it's going to become more concentrated in the middle so it ends up giving this kind of sphere look if you've ever drawn a sphere you know that 
the highlight kind of diffuses outwards and the shadow diffuses inwards and we're kind of creating that effect right now by diffusing the highlight but making it more concentrated in the middle i don't really know if that makes sense but it's kind of like a little artist technique on your lip you can always go back redefine the lip liner a little bit if you want and you can add gloss on top powder on top if you want a more matte um but that is the lips look how cute and pouty double lip lines are not a bad thing at all they're actually really fun to work with and play with if you know how so please don't like stray away from lipsticks i hear i've seen so many comments being like i'm 30 years old and i never wear lipstick because of this you saved my life so please wear lipstick if you want to wear lipstick if that was your problem i hope you have a solution now i hope this helped please try it let me know how it goes because your comments are so heartwarming you guys are the best and thank you for all the love i've got on these double lip pen videos it's like mind-blowing thank you